EWTN invites you to join us for benediction and devotions from the Shrine of the Most Blessed Sacrament at Our Lady of the Angels Monastery in Hansville, Alabama. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Meditations of the saints on the most blessed sacrament. St. John Vianney. When we are before the blessed sacrament, instead of looking about us, let us shut our eyes and open our hearts, and the good God will open his. We will go to him, and he will come to us, the one to give and the other to receive. It will be like a breath passing from one to the other. What delight we find in forgetting ourselves that we may seek God.
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every woman by him. St. Alphonsus Liguori. Good friends find pleasure in one another's company. Let us know pleasure in the company of our best friend, a friend who can do everything for us, a friend who loves us beyond measure. Here in the Blessed Sacrament, we can talk to him straight from the heart. We can open our souls to him, tell him what we need, beg him for powerful graces. We are perfectly free to approach the King of the universe with full confidence and without fear. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be at the moment of our end. Venerable Solanus Casey, what does it matter where we go? Wherever we go, won't we be serving God there? And wherever we go, won't we have our Lord and the Blessed Sacrament with us? Isn't that enough to make us happy? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day and and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and for the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine.
Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. The word of the Lord. Cardinal Camastri, who is the archpriest of St. Peter's Basilica, celebrated Mass for about 100 missionaries of charity. And he told them about an encounter that he had with their foundress, Blessed Teresa of Calcutta, when he was a young priest back in 1969-1970. And he had written to her shortly after his ordination and was quite surprised to receive a personal handwritten note from her on poor paper and a poor envelope shortly after he had written to her. And when he learned that she was going to be in Rome, he sought her out in order to thank her for her response. And when he did find her, she asked him a question which he said embarrassed him a little. She said, how many hours do you pray a day? And this was around the year 1970. There was a lot of calling into question, even praying the divine office, whether it was necessary for priests to offer Mass every day. And so he said, thinking that he was living near a nearly heroic life in his prayer life, he said, I offer Mass every day, I pray the Liturgy of the Hours every day, and I pray the Rosary every day. <clears throat> and Mother Teresa responded flatly, that is not enough. Love cannot be lived minimally. And then she asked him to promise to do a half an hour of adoration every day. I promised, he said to her, and saying to the missionaries of charity, he said, today I can say that it saved my priesthood. He went on in his conversation with Mother Teresa to say, I thought you'd ask me how much charity I do. And she answered, do you think if I didn't pray, I would be able to love the poor? It's Jesus that puts love in my heart when I pray. And when I help the poor, it's always Jesus' love. <clears throat> Without God, she said, we are too poor to help the poor. That's a great line. Without God, we are too poor to help anyone. We are too poor to help the poor. This, she explained, is why so much assistance falls into the void. It doesn't change anything. It doesn't contribute anything because it doesn't bring love and it isn't born of prayer. <clears throat> Recently, Pope Benedict, <clears throat> meeting with the bishops of the Philippines on their ad limina visit, their five-year visit, he spoke to them about the necessity for them in their preaching as well as that of the clergy, he said, to bring home to everyone that they preach to the life-transforming fact that God exists 
that he loves us, and that in Christ he answers the deepest questions of our lives. And he said, your great task in evangelization is therefore to propose a personal relationship with Christ as a key to complete fulfillment. A personal relationship with Christ as a key to personal fulfillment. You see, that's what we heard in the meditations of the saints that I read during our time of adoration. St. Alphonsus described our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament as our best friend who loves us beyond measure. We can talk to him straight from the heart. St. John Vianney says, let's shut our eyes. Don't get distracted by the things around us and open our hearts, and he will open his hearts toward us. And Venerable Solanus Casey, he says, where does it matter wherever we are? As long as Jesus and the Blessed Sacrament is there, we can be happy. We can do God's will. This is a personal relationship that these great saints had with Jesus, and they were able to communicate that to others because of their profound union with him, their profound encounter with him in a particular way in the Blessed Sacrament. So we rejoice that we have this time this evening to be with our Lord. And as St. John Vianney says, let's shut our eyes to everything around us and open our hearts to him, and he will open his heart to us.
Panam de cero prestitis dies. Oremos. Deus qui nobis sub sacramento mirabili, passionis tue memoriam reliquisti, tribue quesumus, ita nos corporis et sanguinis tui, Sacra misteria venerari, ut redemptionis tue fructum in nobis jugiter sensiamus, qui vivis ad regnas in saecula saeculorum. praises together. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood, blessed be Jesus and the most holy sacrament of the altar, blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete, Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament he praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even until the end of time. Amen. Amen. 